Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at a uh, Maxpedition Remora bag. Um, it's a very small bag. It's the smallest one in their Gear Slinger lineup. And uh, it's the little, little brother to the Lunata and Malaga bag. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm going to unpack the bag first, and then I'm going to kind of go over the bag and uh, it's what it's made out of and what it's good for. Okay, so first pocket here. Let me unzip, and uh, inside there I've just got some uh, hand warmers. And uh, it's winter time now, so your hands can get cold. Lens cleaners, in case you have some glasses that you bring with you. And there's one more thing in here, I think. Oh yeah, just carry a Zippo with me, you know. Might need to be filled up again. Okay, so that's that first pocket. Next will be the admin pocket, I believe. That's what it's called. And in there, uh, I do carry my uh, Phoenix light. You can see there's these um, the, uh, elastic dividers. And I'll take the Phoenix light out, and you can maybe see better. And there's an elastic divider here. And there's one on this side too. And then we have a, uh, a large area back here. And in that large area, I just have a notepad. This is a right in the rain. And then in this uh, other uh, elastic divider, just some matches. And and I just carry my Cold Steel Voyager, obviously don't go anywhere without it. Okay, so then at the top here, we have a little uh, area where you can slip some things through. And I just put a pen on, the, uh, on there, so uh, easy to get to, but it goes all the way through. And then you do have a uh, cinch strap here that you can uh, loosen and tighten. Okay, and then onto the main pocket, right here. I'm going to do this zipper. Okay, we have, these aren't my gloves, but just to symbolize some light gloves, we do have some gloves in here. And then, here's a bottle of water. This is a uh, 500 mil. So 500 mil fits in there pretty nicely. Uh, you could put another one in it if you didn't have that little bag there. Then on the in the back here, do carry a fixed blade here. Uh, I don't uh, personally carry it around, but I am gonna show show a fixed blade in this bag, just to give you an idea. This is the Mora, um, with in collaboration with Light My Fire knife. So you do have a fire steel on the back. Great knife, by the way. Uh, I might do a review on that one. And uh, and then uh, just in this flap here, we have a just a bar. You know, something to eat. You know, I always carry these Nature Val bars or Cliff bars with me because they taste good and they have a lot of calories and uh, it's just something to really get you, keep you going. And then, of course, I just have my little medicine pouch. It's just my barnacle and it has, you know, everything I would need. It's not it's not really a first aid kit. It's more of a medicine pouch. I got some hauls, some Tylenol, some polysporin, a small bandage, and some band-aids and stuff in there. Nothing too, too major. All fits in there nicely. Okay, and that's the uh, main pouch open there. You can see the, the, there's a back um, area here that you can actually fit some 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 tablets will fit in here, so that's that's good. Uh, check if your tablet will be able to fit in there, and it's secure to the strap. And there is another side over here, uh, strap on flap on this side, sorry. And it does have a loop field, so you can conceal carry on that side. You can even con oh no no uh, actually you can just conceal carry on this side. And speaking of conceal carry, let's go to the back of the of the pack now. Um, this is the uh, rubbery, uh, meshy kind of uh, uh, stuff here. Or sorry, not meshy. It's just really rubbery and nice. It's very comfortable material. Now I don't conceal carry personally myself. I just can't up here, so I have a toque in there instead. Um, but this this area is really designed for your concealed carry. Um, you can put a, a holster from Expedition in here, and it's like uh, with the hook feature, and it's kind of like Velcro. Then you can stick your favorite pistol inside, and you're good to go. And then it's easy access. You could just slip your hand in here and pull out your pistol. Okay, like I said before, this is the Gear Slinger uh, bag. This is one of them, so it is a one-strap design, and it fits over one shoulder at a time, and it really fits and 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 sits nicely and comfortably, and there's nothing wrong. Uh, it just uh, it's a very lightweight bag. Um, you can move the strap from side to side, um, making it even more versatile in case you wanted to carry your bag on the left opposed to the right, or the right opposed to the left. You know, whatever. These buckles, like uh, um, everything else Max Edition makes, are Duraflex. 
very sturdy, very strong, and a lot quieter than some buckles. And like I said before, your buckle will come in the color that you buy your bag in. Okay, so a little bit more about the bag. These zippers are YKK, tracks, zips are YKK. Great, they're not going to catch, they're, um, they open up e and close easily. And they have paracord pulls, so they're easy to open and close. And um, the bag itself is made out of a thousand denier ballistic nylon. Very tough, rugged material. It's uh, water resistant. Uh, it's very well water resistant. And um, if it grimes up, uh, you, all you have to do is take a damp cloth and just rub out the stain that you got, and uh, it'll dry naturally. Don't ever machine wash them or use bleach or detergent with these bags. You could damage the Teflon coating on these. So all you have to do is, if you get a little stain on it, just rub it off with your fingers with a damp cloth, and it'll come off great. Okay, so we do have molly on the bag, molly on the side, molly in the front, and molly on this side. And there's a little bit of molly on the strap in case you wanted to attach a smaller um, pack to it. Okay, so um, you do have a little belt holder here. You, I'm sorry, you can actually attach this to your belt if you want the pack to, to, to run to sit a bit more sturdy on your, on your person. And um, you can actually even do away with the strap altogether. And you can take this, suck it away, and you can see the little button keeper there. Snap it closed, and now it's more of a little tote bag. And you do have a neoprene handle up here, very silky, soft, kind of, uh, you know, foamy material. And you have two D-rings here in case you want to hang a hat or something off. This is a really cool bag. This is very unique in its size. Um, you know, it was about $89 off their website. And, um, you know, I always find good uses for it. It's a little bit too small for me for my everyday use, but it is a, it's a very nice bag for a couple of, like, overnight trips and stuff. Uh, I believe the dimensions are 7.5 um, uh, width, and um, uh, it's about uh, 10, 10 inches tall, and it's about 3 inches um, uh, thick. Um, so, decently sized. It, it is very small, though. Um, this bag is good for people who are maybe, you know, hopping a train every day, hopping from train to bus, bus to train. They don't want to carry a lot of stuff with them, you know, they just want to get the job done and they want to just move as quickly as they can, not carry so much stuff with them. Uh, maybe you're just someone who doesn't have a lot of EDC items and you just, you like to keep everything compact and uh, organized and this is a great bag for that. Um, just someone who's not into large bags themselves at all also. But something it is also really good for is, um, someone who maybe has a, a disability or is just physically not able to uh, um, carry a, a larger bag with them every day. Uh, this will work out great. This is a very lightweight bag and you can keep a lot of things in it for its size. You know, so this might be something to consider if you are in that situation. Um, yeah, but guys, uh, check it out on Maxpedition.com. Even if you're not even looking for this kind of bag, I'm sure you can find something on their website. They make a lot of things for a lot of people. Now, it does come in all their colors. This is the foliage green color. Um, that comes in the khaki, the black, and the OD green as well. Uh, really, really awesome product Maxpedition makes. They make a lot of good products, and they, they bring a lot of quality to the public, as well as military and law enforcement. A lot of guys in the military and, and in law enforcement like these products too, so... Uh, my suggestion would go to the website and uh, check it out for yourself and there's a lot of pictures and stats about this bag and all the other um, products that Maxpedition makes so uh, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the bag and show you a few things about it and how you can pack it and um, on that note I'm going to end the review so thanks for watching guys I'll catch you next time Maxpedition Remora so um, please comment, like, dislike and I'll catch you next time thank you